And good evening, welcome to the movie show, I'm Daniel. I'm Sherry. I'm Josh. And tonight we're doing a quick review. <laughs> we're, doing a, we're doing a live vehicle you know, review. You know what's funny, you're supposed to, you, I was telling you, oh, don't just start talking, I have to put the <laughs> mic, and what did he start doing? <laughs> we're doing it! It's like, you're out, like, in the middle of a field, like, anyways. Alright, so we're doing a quick review of Homefront, starring Jason Statham, Winona Ryder, uh, James Franco, uh, anybody else? Like, that really... Super big names. Okay. Oh, and what's her name? Uh, that Kate lady. Uh, remember she was the one with the mom and, uh, the son. She's famous? Oh, what's her name? Um, oh. yeah, she's in Wonderland. I can't remember her name right now. <laughs> It's terrible. I'm usually good at it. Oh, she played the girlfriend, didn't she? No, the wife, the sister. Yeah. Well, yeah. In Wonderland, she played the girlfriend. Yeah. But um, and oh, it's Kate something. Is it Kate? I don't know. It's Kate something. <laughs> I think it's Kate. My phone? Anyways, either way, no, it's fine. Uh, yeah, like I said, the you know all obviously all the information is not in front of me. So um. The movie Homefront, the action film, like I said, starring Jason Statham, where as you see in the trailer, it's just simply where he's a uh, retired DEA agent, or an undercover DEA agent. Oh, go ahead, John, if you want to do it. Oh, pretty much Jason Statham, as Daniel said, is, uh, I don't know, I thought it was kind of weird, though, because like, the intro of the movie, uh, pretty much, uh, he's a retired DEA agent. But he also somehow works for Interpol or something like that. Yeah, he's because he's doesn't hide his accent, so obviously he's still uh, British. But uh, anyways, so pretty much he retires, takes his daughter back to his wife's hometown. His his wife recently passed away, so he said, "Oh, well, we'll just we'll rebuild our life in the town that the mother used to live in." Well, one thing leads to another. When you're new and you move into a small town, if you make one mistake, everyone's going to hear about it, and then no one's going to like you and this and that. Well, pretty much ends up making... uh, The daughter ends up getting into a fight with the son of James Franco's sister, and James Franco is known as Gator, the local meth dealer in pretty much the sister asks him to take care of that problem for her and then goes on from there yeah and so pretty much like hilarity ensues no I'm just kidding um so I guess what did you guys think of the film overall I guess Uh, well I guess since it's obviously past opening weekend uh, Sherry what do you think about the movie in general um, I liked it. I thought it was a pretty good film. It was entertaining. It had a lot of action. Um, yeah. How long How long was it? It's like uh, maybe two hours or less. Okay, yeah. I, I feel like I could have um, probably watched it for a little while longer. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just liked it. I kind of... You know what? Oh, well, I guess I can't give that away, but yeah, I liked it. Okay. <laughs> Josh, what do you think? I liked it. I thought it was really good. The only problem is that the trailer kind of misleads you. Because I thought it was going to be... Because in the trailer it shows his daughter get kidnapped. And I was like, oh, pretty much it's going to be like the like uh, a mixture you know, a mixture of Taken and the movie Cellular. Because she's calling him on, his, on the cell phone. So I was like, oh, he's got to track down his daughter and everything. But no, it's not like that at all. It's actually, it was actually really good. It was very well written. I don't know, like, I was going to say, uh, I didn't think it was a bad movie either. I think it's one of those, like, after you watch it, you kind of have to take, take a step back and kind of, like, think about it. Like, oh, I was like, was this a good movie or not? Because you think about it, you expect a Statham movie to have a lot of action. And it did have its a good amount of action, but it also had a lot of dialogue, too. And it was funny, too, because we were watching the movie, and it said screenplay by Sylvester Stallone. And it was based on a novel of the same name, and... I was kind of laughing. I was like, that's funny how Sylvester Stallone wrote it, but he didn't star in it. And then uh, looking at the trivia on Internet Movie Database, they said that uh, it was originally for Sylvester Stallone. And uh, I don't know, I guess he just never developed it or whatever. And so he just sat, you know, 
you know, with him for a while, and then eventually uh, he just got too old for it, and then it somehow eventually got pushed on to Jason Statham, and so it was rewritten and updated for him, and so yeah, that's how he got in the film. And I don't know, I was trying to rethink and imagine Sylvester Stallone in the role, you know, and uh, I don't know, certain parts seemed like they would be, you know, Sylvester Stallone would fit in, and other times it didn't seem like uh, he would, but. Either way, though, I didn't think it was a bad movie at all. Like, I thought it was fairly... It's an entertaining action film, <laughs> pretty much. Like, you know, some Oscar winners here. <laughs> but it's, it's entertaining enough. Um, what were you going to say, Josh? Well, the problem is, if they made the film now with Sylvester Stallone, they would have to get... They have to make the daughter older. Because it wouldn't make much sense for him to be... For him, like, he could be old... He's, he'd be old enough to be your her grandpa and he's gonna be like well they could have changed that to that too be like oh he's taking care of his granddaughter pretty much uh his his daughter died and now he has to take care of his granddaughter and they move on to the bayou yeah <laughs> so very nice I love, I love how Josh is gonna remake uh what is it Homefront is it what's it called again Homefront yeah I keep wanting to say Homeland I don't know why <laughs> but yeah, it's not the TV show Homeland, but um, yeah. So, uh, what did you guys think about the acting of the film? Um, I thought the acting was pretty good. I don't really feel like yo, God, that um, the si- the daughter. No, no, no. The sister, she played a good meth head. I still can't remember her name. Uh, it's irrelevant to me. I just know that she played a good crack head, meth head, because I've met some meth heads, and yeah. <laughs> her whole attitude and she was very trashy too I don't know she played a good trashy white method that's it alright Josh I thought the acting was good I thought I don't know I guess it was kind of surprising kind of like how the acting was because I I don't know I kind of didn't have high hopes for this movie because of the trailer but I don't know prove me wrong I don't know, I was thinking the same thing. I, I wasn't expecting big things. But at the same time, too, I think um, Jason Statham now is a big enough star to where he can kind of pick stuff with some good substance to it. And even then, I think since Sylvester Stallone wrote the script, I don't think he's going to just give Jason Statham something like that'd be crappy. You know? <laughs> and then the same with James Franco, too. Because James Franco, he's willing to kind of go out and, you know, kind of in a wide range of roles, you know what I mean? And so you expect him to pick something with some substance to it as well. And um, they even said that, uh, or he was saying that in an interview um, with MTV that him and the director, like, Sylvester Stallone had it written one way for the for the role of Gator, and they kind of they kind of gave him a little more purpose, I guess, and kind of gave him a little more depth, which I thought was funny because, uh, you know, which shows that obviously uh, James Franco's, huh? Uh, I was going to say that how James Franco is not going to, you know, just take anything. He's actually going to work with it and, you know, make it work. So I thought that was pretty neat. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to take a pause for the cause real quick. (laughs) All right, back from the pause. Um, So, yeah, like as I was saying, the acting, James Franco... Uh, like I said, everybody else was acting very well. James, Fr- uh, I'm sorry, Jason Statham, his acting, uh, s- as far as the action scenes, they didn't seem very believable. He doesn't look like he knows how to fight. Uh-huh. I was just joking. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, everybody, I don't know. I think, I don't know, I think the movie was good. It's watchable, it's entertaining. But, um, I don't know. I think I'd have to watch it again to really decide if it was, like, a really good movie. But, um, as far as that, the acting wasn't bad. Everybody acted fairly well, you know. The only thing was, though, I was laughing about it at the beginning of the movie was, uh, had that one guy who was, uh, who guest starred in Sons of Anarchy, uh, I think it was season five, and, uh, and then you see him at the beginning of the film, and I was like, is this, what <laughs> continued from Sons of Anarchy? <laughs> but, anyways. Um. Right there. Well, I guess we briefly already talked about the story, right? Everybody yeah. kind of agreed about that. And then the acting as well. Um, huh, what else do we touch on for this film? About uh, the ending. Huh? About the ending. 
You want to talk about the ending? <laughs> uh, I guess uh, we can do a little spoiler alert there. Like we'll talk about the ending, and then we'll... Uh, at the ending. And then we'll jump into it. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, so anyway, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the film, or if you don't care, you can keep on listening, or you can take a pause and watch the film and come back and hear their thoughts about the ending of the film. So, all right, so that was a spoiler alert. All right, go ahead, Josh. I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty good, but the ending, I think it could have been a little bit better. I, the funny part, though, is that I understand why there wasn't, like, a big, uh, big, like, fight at the end between James Franco and Jason Statham, because I, I don't think that would have been very believable, but, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't really like that whole, like, cliche ending at the end where he shows up so the prison, he talks to that guy like, oh, I'll be waiting for you when you get out and anything like that. I don't know. I think that's like the only thing I didn't really like about that. I was going to say I agree. I, um, it wouldn't have been very believable to show James Franco trying to fight Jason Statham. Because <laughs> even when they meet each other in the restaurant, you could clearly tell, like, you know, James Franco has nothing on him. <laughs> He's not going to be, like, the guy to be like, oh, yeah, it's like... Was it like, uh, what's his name, Joe Piscopo with sidekicks, tell Chuck North? So I can kick you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then I agree too about the final prison scene. Um, I was going to say about the ending uh, with James Franco, I figured instead of having it to where like the daughter's watching him and then he sees that and then he restrains himself, I figured they would have, if he would have done it as, I think it would have been better to have him not even go as far as to pull out the gun and stuff I think it would have been better if he actually just grabbed him like and then arrested him he's like you're under arrest for whatever you know what I mean because technically he was like he's a police officer you know well he was undercover you know and so he does make arrests you know and so huh he doesn't he <laughs> said so not, not really he's no longer you can't really arrest any well I guess he could arrest him and be like a citizen's arrest <laughs> but you can't really He's not active duty anymore. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying as far as, like... Because in a way, it's like... As far as character goes, it kind of looks weird. Because it kind of scares his... You see his daughter has, like, the scared look on her face. Like, it's like, oh, man, Dad's going to... Excuse me, kill this guy. And in a way, it's like... Uh, really, he's supposed to be kind of like a hero to her. You know what I mean? So to me, to show that... It just, I don't know, it seems like it would be out of character for him, you know? Or I think to show your child, you know? Um, I figured he would be more, like I said, like, you know, huh? I don't know. As a daughter, like me, because I've seen my dad when he gets all crazy or like when some shit's about to go down or whatever, and I never thought anything differently. I was like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, this is the way dad's going to protect us. Like, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. Well, like I said, it was just because she had the scared look on her face, and to me, I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't think that's a good way to... Because fighting is scary. I said because fighting is scary. Yeah, but it looks like she was going to kill him, you know, possibly shoot him, and so that's why I was just like, it's like, ah, I think they should just, with, like, kind of, remember in Minority Report, where it's like, you think he's going to do it, and then he's like, you know, I think they should have went with something like that. Obviously, he's not going to be crying, but... <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? How do you know he's not gonna be crying? Cry to arrest James Franco. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but um, I don't know. Like I said, I think they should have went that route. And then I agree though with the prison thing. That wasn't really necessary. You know what I mean? Because uh, to me, it's like I wouldn't even want to tell him I'm waiting for him. It's like who cares? Be like, <laughs> it's like you just made the drive up. You're just gonna surprise him. You're just gonna surprise him. Well, to me, it's like you made the drive all the way over there for what? <laughs> He's wasted gas, like to tell the guy one line and like hang up on him and leave. It's well lit now. Oh yeah, of course they changed it up. Yeah, I know. I don't know why we're talking about the road, but because I'm driving. <laughs> uh-huh. But um, it's because of all the deer. Yeah, I know. all the deers. Shut up! No plural for fucking deer, guy. Uh huh. But um, I don't know. I highly doubt there's gonna be a sequel for Homefront. Um. What was I gonna say? And so, huh? I said, I said there could be. So James Franco didn't die. Oh, that's true. That's very true. Um, what was I gonna say? 
Well, then we kind of touched on everything more or less. I was still thinking about Winona Ryder's acting in the film. I don't know. She was all right. What, what did you guys think about Winona Ryder? Winona Ryder. I don't. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't like her. I don't really. I don't know. She. I don't know. I just don't really like her. I didn't really care much for her acting in the movie. I mean, she she played okay because you know she wasn't supposed to be like this big strong female role. She was supposed to be like a subordinate. Like you know, she just did what she was told to do. That was pretty much her role, and she played it very well. Hmm, maybe she is a good actress. <laughs> Josh, thoughts on that? I thought it was alright. I don't know. Like I said, I figured. Um, I don't know, I guess I could agree with that. I guess she did play her role well, because I wasn't very impressed by it, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. but, I mean, like I said, she wasn't meant to be like, oh, man, I'm going to fucking save this shit and whatever. She, pretty much, she just did what she was told, and that was it. She, I, you know? She, oh, no, I was going to say, I guess I don't think I can believe her in that kind of role, you know? I think it's because really? she always plays, like, that certain, like, I always think of her, like, from Beetlejuice or Heather's or something, you know what I mean? That's okay. Well, it's like I always see her in those roles, and like when she tries to get serious and stuff, she makes that face and that noise with her voice. She's like, "So we gotta do whatever." <laughs> I don't know. It's something. I don't, that huh? Doesn't sound like anything that I've ever heard her say. <laughs> I was watching an episode of Modern Family, and uh, one of the characters was just like. Well, then you're always like, raw, raw, raw. and she's like, I do not sound like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so why does everybody say that? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's funny. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was it? So, yeah, I don't know. Would you recommend this film? Um, I would. At least once. I don't know. It depends on how big of a fan of this kind of genre you are. But I'd say at least once. you got to see it. So, yes. Yes, I would recommend it. So, I, I don't know, if you're a Jason Statham fan, I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Pretty much. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah, I agree. If you're a Jason Statham fan, you're going to watch it. Or you should watch it at least once. And then, you know. And so, yeah, like. I don't know why it was painted. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like I said, uh, yeah, most Jason Statham fans will probably watch it once. And then. Others will watch it more than once, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm trying to think if this movie is even worth. I think it's a worth a rental. Would you recommend watching it in the theater? I guess, Josh. Uh, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's one of those movies where you can watch any time. It's not really like a, you gotta see it, but it's a good movie. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's worth a rental. The theatrical experience, I don't think it's going to add anything to it. But, Sherry, what do you think? I agree. You agree? <laughs> I agree. You're not really getting anything extra. It's not one of those movies that you have to be in front of a big screen and surrounded by the DDS. I mean, you know. The speakers. <laughs> but anyways, okay. So, yeah, I guess that kind of wraps up the review of Homefront. Um, so, yeah. All right, so you can like and subscribe to us on iTunes under the comment, like and subscribe on iTunes under the Movie Trail Podcast. Uh, also, we're on Facebook under the Movie Trail Podcast, um, and then also at gmail dot com, the Movie Trail Podcast. So, also at Twitter at the Movie Trail Podcast. There's so much stuff now. Um, so yeah, you can refer to all that information in each episode box if you need to you know look up something real quick and like I said you can like subscribe share comment make a mixtape a holiday mixtape for your friends and family make a stocking stuffer (laughs) so yeah but uh alright so for the review of Homefront and the movie trailer I'm Daniel I'm Sherry I'm Josh I don't know I don't really have anything uh, what is it? Oh, say the part or say the line when he was at the gas station. So, so whatever you're thinking, you better rethink it.